Oh, we're leaving Austin. And look what showed up. The sun. All right, I gotta clean up because we gotta catch the private jet. The plan for today, we're in Austin, Texas. We're flying private from Austin to Santa Monica, California. Estimated cost is $21,000. Then I need to catch a cab from Santa Monica to LAX, where I am then flying commercial to Salt Lake City. Estimated cost $125. One way. $21,000 one way, $125 one way. Private versus commercial. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Nice view of Austin. Oh, gotta go, gotta go. It's the Texas edition. Thank you so much. This never gets old. This never gets old. Driving out onto the runway. Oh, this is sweet. This is so cool. Here we have. Ooh, nice. Well, nice. So the positives of flying private. We drove out onto the runway. They took our luggage for us. We didn't have to go through security. We don't need any tickets. We got onto the plane, and now five minutes later, we're taking off. A lot of positives. A lot of positives. A lot of positives. A lot of positives. Very nice. So the seats, are, the seats are good. Look at all this. Heck. What? <laughs> and this lever, Button if you push this all the way down. Oh yeah. So hungry. I'm starving. I'm hungry too. Man. Is there any food? Let's on go flight? Let's go get some Mexican food. I know a great place in Oklahoma. We'll, just, we'll drop in. Wait, what? We'll tell the pilots to drop us in. <laughs> okay. Because we can't. Okay, we're. Better be good Mexican. I was hope I was hoping we'd have some food on the flight, but no. Well, we have we do have food on the flight, but. Okay, Oklahoma for Mexican. Here we go. We're on the ground. Here we go. Steve is asking the pilots if we can stop out in Oklahoma. We'll be here waiting for you. Awesome, thank you. All right, bye bye. Oh, pretty good. Oklahoma, let's get some lunch. It was, How's it, going? it was 76 here Friday. That is cool. Someone didn't pay the heating bill in Oklahoma. <laughs> <laughs> Lunch time. Lunch time in Oklahoma, baby. KFC Taco Bell. Looks like. Oh. Yes. We are here in Oklahoma to get some proper Mexican food. Oh. I got my eyes on a chicken enchilada, maybe some nachos. Here we go. Yes. Taco Bell. How would you rate it? I mean, it's probably the best Taco Bell in all of Oklahoma.
Yeah, for sure, I will. Can you zoom in on it? Yeah, it's really nice. That's pretty good. It's a nice one. It's the Grand Canyon. Wow. That's a beautiful day. So cool. living it up. I gotta take a lift to LAX. Wow. That was cool. I like private. I like private. I have, I have, uh, I have secured the lift to LAX. Now I sit here and wait. It is gorgeous. Once again in Santa Monica. It was like 10 degrees in Oklahoma and it's about 70 degrees in I'm wearing this massive jacket, but it's about five degrees in Park City, so I gotta enjoy this. This is nice, this is nice. How's it going, man? Yes, James. How you doing? Thanks for grabbing me so quickly. We're at LAX. The Lyft driver just asked if I was a paparazzi. No, I'm not a paparazzi, I'm a YouTuber. All right, I have no idea where to go. And so begins commercial flying. Hmm, where do I need to go for the ticket stand? Hmm, I have no idea where I am. Oh, I gotta find my ticket number. Um, English. Ticket. Lift driver dropped me off at terminal four. I actually need to go to Terminal 6. I have to walk a little bit of a ways, but I guess that's one of the pros of flying commercial. You get a lot more exercise. A lot more exercise. The car. We drove, we drove up to the airplane this morning. That was nice. All right, I finally made it. All right, it's 3.55 p.m. I am now in security. How long is it gonna take? It is 4.19 p.m., so that was 24 minutes, and uh, I don't need to explain what security was like. You guys have all been through it. It was just as bad as usual. For now to find my gate. So it's 419, I take off at 630. So I have two hours and 10 minutes to wait. I just realized I have to take a transfer because the airline I'm flying is really small up to Salt Lake. So I have to go to 60G, but uh, as soon as I take that shuttle to that terminal, there's no food, so it's time to eat. I don't think they have Taco Bell here at LAX. Yeah. Oh yeah, things aren't so bad after all. What's up, man? What's up? Say hi to YouTube. Oh, it's on your talk. Oh, man, it's so baby. Shout out, man. We working at the LAX, man. Hey, man, stay on the grind, man. Get ready. It's a new day, man. And it's Money Making Monday, man. That's right. I think finally, finally we are here to the gate. I hope. It is 514 and I finally made it to my gate. That's an... How long is that? An hour and 20 minutes? And now I sit for another hour. Quick update, it is 6.32 and I'm still 
sitting in the terminal. I don't know. I'm just gonna the flight was supposed to take off. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty at at 6:30. Thank you for the message. So, yeah, I don't know how long it's going to be delayed. Welcome aboard your American Eagle flight into Salt Lake City. As you call our backpacks, persons may go under that seat. Please just let us know. It's just not the same. Please your your seat and we will help you once everybody loads. Hopefully Thank I don't you. have somebody next to me, but I probably will. Finally, so I've decided that the thing I don't like about commercial is not the actual flight. It's the process of getting from the hotel or your house or wherever to the air. That's the problem. And flight is it's just the same as, as private. Private flying is also an experience. It's like part of the joy, whereas flying commercial is a necessary evil. But made it to Salt Lake. Ugh, I gotta drive 12 hours to Oregon tomorrow. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, but just like that, this vlog is over, and I'm out.